Well, here we go then. Let's solve for R sub 1, base 1, whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, it just has a sub value 1. We're just solving for that specific R, so usually there'd be different variables, X, Y, and Z maybe. But maybe this is more confusing. I don't know. All right, now the first thing we notice on this one is that this R1 right here is in the denominator. So it's a fraction. It's part of a fraction that's being added to another fraction. So what I would want to do in this case... Hmm, well, actually, I was thinking of making common denominators right there. But it looks like it would be helpful first to subtract 1 over R sub 2 from both sides. So minus 1 over R sub 2. So that gives us, we had the 1 over R, but now it's minus 1 over R sub 2. And this would equal that 1 over R sub 1. All right, so from here, I have those two fractions, and I need common denominators before I can add or subtract them. So in other words, I need to multiply R2 by R, and I need to multiply R by R base 2. But if I do it to the denominator, in order not to change the value of the fraction, I need to multiply it in the numerators as well. So I am going to skip a step. This would show as R base 2 minus R over our common denominators, R times R base 2. And this still equals 1 over R base 1. Looking at this, at this point, I would say finding common denominators for both sides of the equal sign would be great because then we get well we get to ignore all the denominators so for example uh, right here we have that r times r base 2 so we have this r that's better that r base 1 right there but it, it's missing times r and times r base 2 so I need to multiply it in the numerator as well, right? So that it doesn't change the value of that fraction. On the left side of the equal sign, it's missing a times r. So I need to multiply, I'm sorry, r base 1. So I need to multiply that in the numerator and denominator right there. So again, now that we have common denominators, we get to ignore all the denominators. So let's go ahead and rewrite this problem. I've got r base 1 times uh, r, r base 2 minus r. And this equals, I don't need to put the 1. It's just going to be multiplied by r times r base 2. The great thing about this right now is that I have r base 1 on one side of the equal sign. It's in the numerator. So in order to solve for it, all I'm going to need to do is go up here and divide both sides by what's in the parentheses there r base 2 minus r so both sides r base 2 minus r you can put parentheses or not it's not going to make a difference because at this point these two cancel out and we're left with that r base 1 equals r times r base 2 and that's all over what we have in green there r base 2 minus r 